389 satellites were launched in the last nine years. Yes, not by NASA nor ESA, but by India. Exactly, those people who we think they're obsessed with cows, who are really good at saving money and good at mathematics and any of the stereotypes you can put on them. The same guys who were the first to reach the southern pole of the moon. Yes, turns out those guys, Indians, they have launched 389 satellites for foreigners in the last nine years only. The rockets also carrying 103 much smaller satellites. 96 of them are from the US. Dan Coates has said he was shocked to know that India successfully launched over 100 satellites in one go, many of them American. He said the US can't afford to be seen lagging behind. I was shocked the other day to read that the nation of India on one rocket launched deposited more than 100. So India is not what you think in space business. Another fun fact which maybe I should give you is that they were the first in 2014 to reach the Mars orbit on the very first attempt. And yes, obviously, I'm going to praise them, but let me show you why the Indian space program is really doing good in this area. Number one, they are low cost comparatively to all others. So India make their own launching vehicle. And as an example, the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle costs only 15 million US dollar. That's in India. And then with SpaceX Falcon 9, the launching vehicle costs 62 million US dollar. You see, this is one of the things that I love India for. And even though India is still new now they are known for their success always in the space program like they usually strike at their first attempt so people would ask why me for right now i'm excited for the success of india when it's not my own thing the reason is to me as a congolese india is the example of a brother whom have been through exactly the same struggle which my country congo have been through that might be you know, when it comes to colonization or being looked down or or so many other ways people could look down upon but Despite all of the stereotypes which might even still be there until now, Indians never back down and they'll always continue to prove themselves one day after another. The Indian Space Agency has become part of an elite group of space explorers. It's also become the world's first low-cost space agency. And obviously, it sounds, it still sounds awkward when people have to stand and say good things which India is doing. It sounds, it sounds awkward, but when we say about good things which the US is doing, it sounds normal. And I don't want to accept that. India is doing good. India is a very good example of very huge success to me and that's the same thing which i'm telling myself if countries in africa or country like congo can see what india is doing so good if in a very short in a very short span of time they can do that great amount of work even though congo has never launched a satellite before they can do it and do it in a very short span of time 300 satellites also congratulations india and keep you inspiring as well thanks so much for being here catch you next time three two one zero Plus five seconds. Lift off. Lift off.